good everyone. Uh, welcome back. Um, just preparing for uh, for our little expedition today. Let me go and we're gonna gather up some oil and we're gonna stick it we're gonna stick it in these tanks because I'm pretty sure there's quite a bit of it. So we're gonna do that. And the one thing I'm also gonna do, just as long as I'm shitting around, uh, here's my crafting bench. Here's some wood. Uh, that, that should be enough wood. I'm just gonna make some of the, uh, the really basic tools, and I'm just gonna get rid of them. Uh, just so we can start getting some of these achievements. Yeah, look at that. Look at all those. Oh, God, yes. Oh, this is, we're gonna have so many good achievements from this. I'm gonna make a hoe. And like I said, we're just gonna just toss these in the crapper as soon as, uh, can I? Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Not even good for anything. Um, let's look at um, let's look at the cheeves now. Gonna make some bread eventually. Gonna make a little farm. I think I think the forestry mod has quite a bit of <clears throat> quite a bit of things that have to do with building farms and doing things that are related to that. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we're gonna build a furnace. God, yeah. Got a furnace. We're gonna get stone pick. Oh, man, look at all these achievements we're getting. You know, just just hammering them out, and then just destroying the, the things. If we look at our achievements now. Oh God, it's it's filling up so fast. Smelting iron ingot. Cook fish. I'm not gonna cook any fish. Um. Yeah, let's... Okay. Uh... I wonder... Oh! Oh! Just got that, uh, that achievement automatically. That was good. Got a lot of tin here. I'm just gonna put in our... In our little box of materials. Gonna put this redstone dust in here. Gonna put... Uh, what can I put away? Put away some diamonds. Uh, I get that these seeds out of my chest. I'm going to start saving seeds now because I kind of want to do stuff with them. Got some electronic circuits from last time. Uh, smelted a ton of iron. So we got that going for us. Uh, put this refined iron away. We're not going to really need a whole lot this episode because uh, we basically got all the materials we need. We just need to go and move all that shit that we built. Oh, it's copper. It's copper on my house. Uh, don't need that kind of pipe. We need, um, let's get the cobblestone waterproof pipe. Actually, let's bring another thing, a cobblestone waterproof pipe. And uh, we'll make some more cobblestone waterproof pipe. That'll be a good thing. We've already, got, we've already got some engines over there that are obviously hooked up to the pump already. Uh, this system is going, oh, I didn't show you what I've done with the quarries. So... I kind of AFK'd a bit. Uh, this finished digging out, and so I used the water to get to the bottom. That's just some nicolate down there, and I didn't really feel like mining it out because it's above my head. But I found a little bit of ore along the sides, some tungsten and whatnot. Uh, I dug this one out, but I didn't cap it over. Uh, basically, what I did is I just kind of stood on the edge like this and used Optifine to zoom in. And uh, this one I haven't gone to the bottom of yet, but to the best of my knowledge, I don't think there's any really good ores down there. That looks like coal. Does that look like coal? There's some coal up here we, we can compare it to. Uh, yeah, it's coal. Let's see what else we can creep on from here, from our vantage point. Some nickelite, some silver, some redstone. Let's go over to the other corner. Gotta be careful here. Uh, this one's digging out. Uh, obviously not quite as deep, but uh, I'll show you what I did to make it go a bit faster. Just a second. You might have just seen it just then. And, oh god, I'm balancing on the edge. I'm on my tiptoes right now. I'm so close to just falling off. Yeah, just some redstone. Those might be rubies. I can't really tell. It looks like redstone, though. Some gold, some silver, coal, hither, tither. Um... There we go. Oh, God. And then right here, one thing I did, uh, and this is kind of neat, I put one of those diamond pipes in here coming out of coming out of the, 
the quarry. So the quarry, I have this all hooked up with diamond wire now, since it's so close. Uh, we, we've got plenty of diamond wire. What I did was I hooked up another uh, another redstone engine. So now we've got not only the three up here, or not redstone engine, electrical engine, but then there's also one down there. And so all of these engines are all working, pumping away, putting electricity into this. And you can see it's really pumping out a lot more a lot more materials than before. Definitely going a lot faster. And uh, because it's going faster, we're getting more shit. Uh, and that's always good to see. Oh, God, almost. So close. So close. So I've got the pipeline running into these two pipes on the far end here. And I don't think uh, this episode is going to be long enough for us to see anything substantial. I don't know why I just walked all the way around the house there. Working on making some diamond. Uh, this chest right here, uh, give you a little hint at a future episode. Actually, I'll show you what's in what this is. This is a compressor. It's just another kind of machine you can make. And it's good for making things like alloys. But the other thing that it's good for making are these. These are uranium cells. Remember all that uranium ore we had up in this chest? Well, it's gone because I took it and I put it... Oh, god damn it! Every freaking time! Jesus Christ! Oh, my God. Hold on, let me turn the sound down. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, that's better. Um, uranium cells, basically, are what you use to make a nuclear reactor. So we're going to do that. The other thing that I did is you can see there's no more solar cells, or solar panels rather, up here. And that's because uh, I kept building more and I built more and more and more and that's what all those those uh, microchips in my inventory were. And basically I built enough of them that I, I converted them into this guy. And you can see how the color's a little bit different. The solar panels were kind of this color and these guys are kind of white. Uh, that's because this is an LV solar array. And basically the idea is that it just generates a hell of a lot more power. And uh, I think it's it's the, the power of eight solar panels combined. And so I figure, you know, why keep it up there and then have all that extra wire when it can just run directly into our box here? Uh, that Not that box, this box. So you can see we're at 112,000. And that's... Uh, are these guys going? These guys, I think they were going at the very beginning of the episode, but I mean, they don't provide a whole lot of power. Even with all four electrical engines going over there, those guys were still managing to kind of create a little bit of a surplus of energy. So that's that's fantastic. Uh, enough energy to go around for now. But with all these quarries, I'm probably going to want to build another quarry. And what then? You know, what then? So the idea is going to be that we're going to go and... Oh, it's all done. Oh, God, it's so fantastic. I love this game. Uh, the idea is going to be that we're going to have lots of quarries and we're eventually going to get them all all nice and done up just like these ones and then we'll cap them off and we're just going to we're just going to strip mine basically this whole forest. This whole forest is going to be gone and we're done. We're going to destroy the environment. We're going to induce global warming and then uh, this will all turn into a barren wasteland but at least uh, at least it won't be raining anymore and we'll have plenty of sunlight. So that, that's fine. So we've got some cobblestone waterproof pipe, like I said. We got some cobblestone transport pipe. And what we need to do is make, we need to make some more waterproofing. So let's come in here and we've got probably just enough to make uh, a, a ton of, a ton of cactus. And then we'll take the cactus and, oh, whoops. I gotta cook the cactus. Gotta cook the cactus. No, we don't. How do we make... Is it... Oh. Oh, you can't make it in a crafting table? That's... Can you not just... That's really strange. Uh, probably a bug. Oh, crap. Did I just get rid of my last cactus? Son of a... Be well, then we gotta find more cactus on our way there. Um... Is that sun coming up or going down? I can't really tell. I think it's going down. I think it's getting to be nighttime. Uh, let's make this this waterproof pipe. <clears throat> oh, good. Oh, that's that's fine. We've got 40 of them. That'll be plenty. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is we're just going to um, 
have a sleep, wait out the storm, and then I'll, I'll meet you guys over at the oil wells, 331 meters away. Alright, see you soon. Alright guys, I'm back over here. And uh, first order of business is to get these these pumps disconnected, and not pumps, engines. God, I am the worst with names. Like I, I couldn't, I could never be like a, a human resources person. Uh, it's a good thing that there's not like a, a human resources achievement in Minecraft, because I w I would be horrible at it. They, they'd be like, oh, uh, to get this to get this achievement, you need to um, greet every employee. Uh, in in the morning, and I would, I would just I would just be horrible at that. I, there'd be no way that I could possibly remember all of the names of all the people in this game, and then, you know, greet them as they as they walked into the office and you know walk past my little receptionist area. Uh, I guess I guess if I was a receptionist, I wouldn't really be human resources. I guess it depends on your role within the company, but uh, yeah, this it it would just be. It would just be horrible. You can see there's there's still a little bit of lava down there, uh, but that's that's only one or two source blocks. Uh, in fact, I'm going to cover over this hole. Uh, trust me, you're, you're just going to have to believe me. Actually, it, I I've been down there and it's it's nothing to write home about. There's there's only a few more drops of lava. Uh, I might go down there with a bucket and just grab it manually, but nothing worth uh, nothing worth wasting some hard drive space for the video over. You know these videos are big. At every five minutes is something like four gigabytes because it saves to a uh, to an uncompressed AVI file. Why? I'm not entirely sure, but um, you know I've got I've got hard drive space to kill, and I like you guys. Oh God, oh, it's so much oil. So you can see this is going to be like a, a project in and of itself, just kind of surmounting the height of this oil geyser. You know, we're like the Beverly Hillbillies, kind of just, you know, getting rich off of, you know, our ill-gotten oil. I guess the Beverly Hillbillies, it, it wasn't ill-gotten oil, it's just, it just oil. Uh, and they got rich off of it, but this time we're going to be, um, we're going to be just prospecting this land. Nobody owns it, to the best of our knowledge. Uh, we're not even going to make a, a best effort to try and find out who owns this land because we just want the oil and uh, we haven't really seen any signs of civilization around here. Uh, nobody's really, you know, coming out. There's no no trespassing signs. Um, you know, we filed the necessary paperwork with our... Oh, God, that was the wrong one. Uh, we filed the, the necessary paperwork with our local municipality and and they were like yeah it's fine um, we have mining rights for the region and so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and you know take the take the oh god oh, the oil is just like shooting me up into the air oh god I'm I'm swimming around in this oil and I'm just I'm just ruining oh god this this iron armor is just going to get absolutely filthy. And frankly, you know, I'm going to need a bath. And so, first thing I'm going to do when we get back... Oh, there's like a tree growing in the oil. Oh, what the hell is this? Look at that. There's like a, there's like a tree in the... in the oil geyser here. It just like grew into it and the oil was like... Oil guys who don't care. Oil guys who don't give a fuck. Oh man, fuck that. If I were an oil geyser, I would I'd have none of that. I would I would just blast the hell through that tree. That tree wouldn't know it hit me. Or what hit it. You know what I mean. So, uh we're gonna we're gonna dress this up nice. Um I don't really have any stone and I didn't anticipate how high this was actually gonna be. So <laughs> um kind of just, just a little bit of a fail. It's fine though. Uh, we're we're gonna get some of this crappy cobblestone. <clears throat> we're just gonna kind of tunnel up something that I'm apparently terrible at doing, and then just uh, build it over. Build like a little bit of a nasty little post. Oh, there, oh God, I'm out. 
What am I going to do? Alright, I'm just going to use regular cobblestone now. And I'm going to put the cobblestone around its <laughs> most descriptive person on the planet. Oh god, yes, there we go. Alright. I got a suggestion on one of my previous videos that I should, um, instead of using redstone engines, I should use other kinds of engines because the redstone engines will basically heat up and then blow up. And you guys have already seen some wire blow up on me and, and it, it's just a bad thing. There, nothing good can come of any kind of explosion in Minecraft. Uh, we all know that from experience. It, it just, you know, any day where things blow up, whether it be a creeper or whether it be, you know, a bit of wire, you know that you know you're gonna go to bed at night and you're 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 just gonna you know lay down and you're gonna have a, a deep think about you know what you're doing with your life. So I got my levers from from back over there. I'm just gonna plonk them down. That looks good. I'm gonna turn these bad boys on. And let's. Oh God, there's no way down. Oh, fortunately we've got all these stupid rubber saplings that make a ton of an absolute ton of um, sticks, which is which is pretty good. Uh, and we've got our philosopher's stone, which lets us open a crafting table wherever the hell we are. And so uh, now we we have the ability. I don't think this is enough ladders. To oh god, I'm gonna make some more ladders. Oops, I'm not used to the, using the philosopher's stone to craft. It's it's weird not pressing the usual buttons, namely right clicking or pressing E or whatever. Oh, I still don't have enough. God damn it! And C. Oh, no. Close it, and then, oh, close it, and then, oh, oh, God. You can see the oil's flowing down. Uh, there it goes. Slowly but surely. I got another suggestion that I should use uh, diamond transport pipe. Uh, waterproofed diamond transport tel... Waterproofed diamond teleport pipe. I'm sorry. Waterproof diamond teleport pipe which basically provides instant transportation between uh, basically any two places that have the, the teleport pipe. Um, I don't think I can actually use that and the reason is is that well I guess I could but it wouldn't it wouldn't really provide me any benefit and the reason is um, these oil wells and my base are so far apart that even if I managed to um, to get it hooked up, it's outside of the render distance, and so it wouldn't do any pumping or mining or anything. It would it, it would basically be bad, and it wouldn't work. So that's obviously it's it's obviously not going to fly. I thought about it though, uh, I really did. And so, if you're the person that gave that suggestion, uh, I do appreciate your feedback. I appreciate all my comments. I try to respond to all my comments. And if you leave me a comment, I try to get back to you in a, in a pretty reasonable amount of time. I'm not an unreasonable guy. Or at least I try not to be. So, um, keep those comments coming. I like them. I enjoy them. It, it, sometimes, if I'm in a snarky mood, uh, I might... There's a cow down there. I might, I might give you kind of a snarky response. Oh god, is the sun going down already? Oh, I might have to leg it back. So I'm just going to plonk down some torches up here. Or at least... Yeah, I'll, I'll put down a second one. And now we're just going to basically hightail it out of here before it gets too dark. And I know just the spot to be, too. Oh god, it's so dark over here. Oh, is that a skeleton already? Oh my god. It's not even... It's only like 8 o'clock at night in this game. And there's already skeletons out. Oh, I can't even hit them. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. I got him. I didn't kill him, but close enough. It makes me feel good when I I get them. They're they're always so pissed off, you know. Oh man. Look, there's another one. Oh, I 
we have to kind of go past them, don't we? I guess not. I guess we're alright. We'll be fine. I do eventually want to light this, this area up. There, a, a lot of mobs do tend to spawn in this bit just because it's it's so free of any kind of debris or I don't know, anything there's nothing on the ground there's no trees uh, it's it's very flat and so all the mobs are very visible and, and they, they can all see you so as you're walking past you know the creepers are creeping the skeletons are skeletoning and there's nothing you can do about it you're just you're just shit out of luck Oh man, I you know what this tree capitator mod is just gonna stay on. I really love it. Uh, in some respect, oh god, and there's a creeper. Ah uh, yeah, there we go. I got him. I don't even want the XP. I just want to get the hell out of here. Um, actually, I'm probably gonna go over here get the XP. Light this up a little bit. I have been trying, uh, while I was AFKing the other day, to, well, I wasn't really AFKing because I was doing stuff, but I, I kind of sat in the middle waiting for the lava, and while I was doing that, I, I just cut down basically all the trees <laughs> and uh, collected a ton of apples, and while I was doing that, um, anytime I saw like a creep or anything, I worked on, I worked on my aim. Uh, someday I'm going to compete in the Olympics in the uh, the archery event, the Minecraft archery event. Um, nobody is really going to hold a torch, the Olympic torch or otherwise, to my to my right clicking and releasing abilities. You know, pointing, aiming, hand-eye coordination. I suppose hand-eye coordination is something that you'd need for the actual um, the actual event in the Olympics. Oh God, there's a spider that saw me. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. I don't think he actually saw me. He's just, just kind of running in this direction. He got excited, and he miscalculated how far he, he actually really wanted to go. Oh, man. This is so good. I, I like this. See, this is a, a nice, relaxing way to spend the night. It's it's kind of lit up enough in, in various directions that you don't get a whole lot of mobs. Uh, and the mobs that you do see, they come from predictable directions because those are the directions that you haven't put down torches yet. So, you get a ton of wood. Oh god. Let me tell you, Minecraft gives me a ton of wood. So much... Oh god, there's a creeper right there. Oh, cre oh god, now he saw me. Oh no, he didn't. Maybe he did, but he, he, like, forgot about me in, like, the half second that he realized I was there. Oh, man. This game sometimes just really... Really, um... Wears on me. Causes some stress. Strain of the eyes and strain of the wrist. Oh, God, he's right there. Oh, God, well, his brother. Brother Creeper. Oh, God, there's another one. Fuck this. Oh my god. Oh, there's so much XP though. I always love XP. I'm constantly dying as it seems. Uh, the reason why I only have uh, two levels as opposed to however many keens of levels I had last time uh, is because I, I basically fell down in the quarry. Uh, I, I tossed down some water to get to the bottom of it, but I forgot that water doesn't move as fast as water IRL. And I fell, I, I fell through the bottom of the water, and then I hit the ground going really fast. So, oh god, how many arrows am I going to have to waste on these douchebags? Ah, there we go. Just lighten this place up. It, it's, it's satisfying. It's a satisfying chore. Um... You know, it's it's a dirty job, but but someone's got to do it, as they say. And you know, I'm I'm more than happy because you know duty calls, and as it turns out, I am potentially the only person in this entire world, uh, period, who it has the motivation to do anything. You know, some of the other guys they they don't take advantage of their 
their rightful oil prospects. Um, I'm I'm really the only efficacious one. Or, oh God, he saw me, didn't he? Oh, well, I'll just move far away, far enough away that he he forgets. Maybe he won't forget. Maybe he'll he'll be like the one skeleton that evolves a long-term memory. Like like that guy from Memento. It would be like if all the skeletons were like that guy, and then um, you know there's one skeleton. You know that that evolves a, a, a really advanced cerebral cortex because you know skeletons have brains, and uh, he'll be just that one, the the one skeleton with that. And you know, next thing you know, uh, you know you have a whole family of skeletons. You know, he goes out and finds um, a wife that. You know, he's like, oh yeah, she's she's pretty nice, even though she's she's got an inferior memory to mine. You know, she's got a good personality, and, and her body's pretty okay, and you know, I can I can appreciate the time that I spend with her, and you know, forgive me for being so heteronormative, but you know, it, it, skeletons need love too. Oh man, look at that! Oh, fucking skeletons everywhere. is just skeleton happy. Oh god, shit! Shit, shit, shit! Oh, oh my god. Oh god, it's a creeper. Oh, just kick him back a little bit. Kick him back. Knock him back. Oh god. Oh, he blew up. Son of a bitch. I didn't take that much damage. That was alright. That wasn't too bad. He mined out a little bit of wood for me. Um, all in all, I, I, I wouldn't say that it was a net loss. I'm not going to say it was a net gain, but it, it certainly wasn't a net loss. Oh, shit. Oh, talk about, talk about stress, right? Talk about stress. Put it out. Put down some more torches. Uh, on, on the upside, some apples over here. Yeah. Like me some apples. Cheap source of food, especially considering... Uh, trees are so easy to cut down. You know, all you gotta do is basically just cut down the tree and wait. Um, and you can kind of make the process somewhat asynchronous. Oh, yeah, come here, you cheeky son of a bitch. Oh yeah, look at that. I stole your XP. God, man, you you don't even know. You don't even know. One of the nice things about wood here is that, um, besides the fact that it's plentiful, uh, it's it's worth quite a bit in equivalent exchange. So uh, when I get back to my to my transmutation tablet, I I can just trade it up for basically like a whole diamond, all this wood that I'm chopping down. So you know that's that makes it kind of worthwhile. I also realize I I know oh probably shouldn't have cut that down. There's going to be a beehive just floating in the air. I don't really under know what beehives do. I remember I think it was um, Simon and Lewis from the Yogg's cast played some Technic a while back and I think it was them that, that did some stuff with bees and I don't really remember whether like bees attack you or not if you um if you break the, the beehives. And you know what, to be honest, I don't really want to find out. And I don't really care enough about bees to, to go and find out because I don't think there's a whole lot of benefit from from raising bees. You might be able to get some food or something, but I mean I guess you kinda just have to be in that kind of spirit. You know, be like, oh man, I love I love bees. I love food that comes from bees, you know, like honey and uh, honeycomb and uh, those little things you get around Halloween time that have honey flavoring, but, you know, they're, they're kind of awful. Uh, you know, I, I love all those things, and so I'm going to go and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise some bees and, and produce all those things on my own and then sell them uh, around Halloween time to unsuspecting little kids that don't remember what kind of candy they do and do, do not like. You can see this area has been really cleaned out and that's just because of my um, my hard work while I was waiting for all that oil. You can see the oil just kind of like little lumps 
I don't know why the oil doesn't travel. Oh, I guess it travels faster if you have more powerful pumps on the, uh, or more powerful engines on the pump. I guess I could... Now, you see, the problem with... The problem with more powerful pumps, or uh, more powerful engines, is that the only real engine that you can make that's that's good is, um... Like an electrical engine, because you can use uh, solar panels to power it. But the thing about that is that you know then you need a solar panel out there, and then you need to be um, then it only works during the day. So uh, I'm not even gonna bother. It's it's a lot of work for not a lot of benefit, um, especially when I could just like AFK for an hour or, or or so, or you know just just leave Minecraft running kind of on the side while I do other things, and, you know, if I get attacked, I'll give it some attention. Oh, God, you see him? I just saw his legs. Oh, there he is. Can we get him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. Doesn't even know he's getting hit. Doesn't even know he's fighting a losing battle. Oh, man. You know what? This is my lucky tree here. Th this tree, uh, is lucky. I don't, I don't know why just arbitrarily deemed as like I suppose, you know, luck itself is kind of arbitrary, completely subjective. So, you know, I can I can say that this tree is my lucky tree and nobody's going to be like, "Oh man, why?" I'll just be like, "Yeah, well, you know, it turns out that uh, I'm just feeling it." Nobody's going to say, "Oh man, that's totally a terrible reason to think it's a lucky tree." You know, nobody nobody does that. So, you know, it's completely socially acceptable for me to just randomly designate a tree my lucky tree and then proceed to cut it down. You know, nothing wrong with that at all. So, this oil's been going for a little bit. Let's head back to my base. Cut through the water. One of these days, I'll build, like, a little land bridge through this water. There. There. I'll, I, I just started it. Started the little land bridge. Uh, I feel like I'm constantly going through little bodies of water like this. There's some, um... There's some clay there. I'll have to remember that there's some clay there. I'm not going to mark it on, as a waypoint on my map. Uh, I, I really don't care enough. But uh, someday we're going to need some clay. Not a whole lot of clay, but, but just enough clay. And then we'll make some bricks. And there's some things from the red, red power, from the red power mod that require, um, that require some bricks. Something with alloys, like an alloy furnace or something. I didn't look into it too much, but... The idea is that you use you use some bricks to make some stuff, and that stuff turns out to be useful. So I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'm sure there's much more plentiful deposits of clay elsewhere. Uh, we will need clay dust for certain things, I believe. Clay dust is, you know, its own thing. I've passed this patch of obsidian many times. I feel like. You can see that there's a creeper hole here. Uh, so I feel like I, I should... Well, I guess I already light it up. I kind of legged it back through here uh, last time I played this, which is a few days ago. I kind of record these episodes in advance. I, I find a block of free time where I'm just like, screw it, I need some time to kind of chill out. <clears throat> and then I, I edit them throughout the week. And um, during that one particular... Uh, jaunt through the through the woods I was I was just totally shocked I forget why I was running through the woods I feel like I had uh, been pissing around and I did something and then uh, I didn't realize how late it was I might have been exploring God, I have so many apples now I got three whole apples I love apples you know and I have an apple I, I think I mentioned this before I have an apple every morning for breakfast uh, only red delicious apples. Any other kind of apple is just inferior because it's... They're not nearly as crispy if they're not red delicious. I have had some green apples that were, were pretty good, but I feel like they probably weren't ripe. And, you know, if, if it's not ripe, you know, what's what's the point? You know, that, that just means that the whole species of apple is just terrible after it becomes ready to eat. So, uh, not, my, not my cup of tea, not my cup of fruit, I guess. 
Uh, I enjoy a fruit cup. A good fruit cup. Cup of fruit every now and then. Oh, God, I don't want dirt. Oh, look, there's more, um... Got more. Oh, God, I'm getting so much wood. Wow, this game... This game just gives me so much wood. And, um... Then my transmutation tablet, uh, it, it takes my wood and uh, it gives me nice things. Just taking all my wood. All the way to, um, all the way to the, uh, the tablet. That's it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna keep going there. That's, that's just wrong. Um, you can see creeper hole and then blew up the bottom of this tree. That was like some free wood. I don't think I died, but, um, yeah, creepers are vicious in this game anymore. Like I said, I'm, I'm really considering turning them off, and I'm, I'm not really sure if there's a way to, with the Technic pack, I might have to install an additional mod, and I don't know how well that's going to work, so we'll just have to see. I know in Tekkit you can do it, because Tekkit is built on Bucket, and Bucket, you can just install all sorts of plugins. See, there's a dark area over there, but there's skeletons, so I don't want to go that far. Um, that's fine. We'll just go up. Make it back over to the pipeline. We've slowly been kind of making our way this way, and it's it's been working pretty well so far. You know, chop some trees, collect some apples. Oh man. This is a, this is gonna be this is a productive episode. We've done a whole lot. Uh, let's go back and we'll we'll put some of this wood away. I'll I'll actually meet you back there in a second. All right, we're back. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that uh, if you re remember, there was a big ass tree here, one of those big rubber trees, uh, and I did chop it down. It it was right at the corner of this quarry, and I was like, screw it, since I'm building the quarry anyway, I might as well cut down the tree uh, because I do hate those trees. There, you know, you can't light them on fire. You can't, uh, you can't get any wood out of them, and so the only thing they're good for is just a, a ass load of sticks. So I said, screw it, I cut it down, and I shoved all the wood into these furnaces, and, or these generators, rather, and they just, they just did their thing. Um, we spent the whole night out there, so, um, it's kind of, it was kind of dark. You could see the, um, the tanks are filling up. Filling up with oil, slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, here comes some more oil. And I'll go back over there and I'll AFK later, uh, after this episode is over. And we'll, we'll get even more oil. It'll be fantastic and, and um, everybody will be excited. Everybody's going to be so happy when all that oil is, is collected. And you can see in the, in the meantime we've gone through and it's it smelted some iron dust for me. Uh, it only does iron. Uh, I think it, it only does iron. Uh, it does iron and tin. I should have this on. I replaced uh, the redstone engine with um, with an electrical engine, since the, the wires are down there anyway. And um, it doesn't have a whole lot to a whole lot to do, but uh, it's actually really fast. It just emptied all twenty of those out, just just like that, just in, in a snap. Uh, let's. Oh, is it getting dark already again? Oh, yeah, it is. Let's stick um, all that rubber wood in there, and let's stick this stack of 43 in there. And then we'll come back over here, and can we burn these? Yeah, get rid of those. Um, how much is a sapling worth? Oh, saplings are worth a lot. Drop all those in. Don't need gunpowder. Oh, you can't get rid of gunpowder that way. Um... Some ladders. I don't have a whole lot that I really want to get rid of. Get rid of those bones. Uh, it's good that it knows about bones now, too. Uh, let's go in and check on the uh, good old box. So it's it's made some progress. Not a whole lot of progress, but, you know, enough. Put some of these, um, these stacks of wood in here. Oh, man. Look at that. We got a diamond already. Just from wood. Basically just from wood. Oh, whoops. I did it. Oh, 
all the time. I should put this torch up higher. It doesn't look as nice up there. It looks like it's going to catch my roof on fire, but, you know, what? what's a roof on fire, really, in the grand scheme of things? So, um, get that going. Stick some, uh, oh god, more lag. The lag can be horrendous sometimes. I'm down to four frames per second right now. Oh, god damn. I'll meet you guys back here in a second once this lag goes away. Uh, and, oh, actually, it's, it's starting to clear up. Uh, maybe? 19, 18, 19. Oh, god, what is this crap? 20? 17. All right, I'll, I'll see you guys back here once the lag clears up. Oop. All right, guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, it's morning. Uh, I, I just slept through the night, and the lag went away. And as you can see, while it was simulating the nighttime, uh, just got a, we got a ton of oil. This is a lot of oil, and so one thing I'm going to do, uh, just because we don't need our, our lava set up right now, anyway, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to hook up... Um, screw it, I'll just bust through the side here. Uh, I'm going to hook up the uh, the pipes the tubes. It's it's a series of tubes. Uh, literally, quite literally, a, a series of tubes. I feel like we should have more dirt than that around. What did I do with all my dirt? What happens if I use my Philosopher's Stone on dirt? I'm wondering about that. Ah, it turns into sand. Uh, Philosopher's Stone does some weird things when you use it on things that uh, you wouldn't expect it to be used on. Um, just, uh, just an interesting fact. A little factoid. So, I'm just gonna punch a hole in the wall. Because I'm so angry! And I'm just gonna... Hook up, hook up the pipes like that. And basically now it'll just, it'll evenly distribute all that oil. All that oil that we're gonna be collecting. And, uh, that'll be that. So, um, anyway... I'm glad you were able to join me for this this episode of, of Basta Plays Technic. Uh, I've been Basta. If you like this video, make sure you go on Facebook, uh, or not Facebook, on, on YouTube. Uh, you might not have a Facebook, and I I don't really do videos on Facebook. But uh, I'm assuming you're on YouTube, or you're on a website that, that's playing YouTube, uh, mostly because I upload this video to YouTube, and I, I do license it under Creative Commons. Is that a swastika? Is there a swastika on this? Huh. It's, it's weird. Um. Yeah, anyway, you're, if, if you're on the, the YouTubes, uh, make sure you, um, you like this video, if you liked it. If you didn't like it, I mean, definitely don't, you know, waste your time. But, uh, if, if you did like it, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you, um, if you took the time to press the like button. It helps me out, and it gives me a good idea of, you know, who actually gives a shit about what I'm ranting about here. You know, the, the crap that I'm building. And if you want to see me do something in particular, you know, just say, hey, Basta, you should do, and then tell me what you want me to do. And I'll, I'll think about it. You know, I'll say, oh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty clever idea. Or maybe I'll be like, screw you, you douchebag. Um, generally, the, the former, and less often the latter. But um, I'll be I'll be more than happy to at least consider consider the request. And I think that's that's more than a lot of people would do for you. So um, oh god, there's a zombie over there. Thanks for joining me, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time.